The waste hierarchy plays a critical role in circular economy. The waste hierarchy ensures that from the start, products are being designed to reduce overall waste. It also considers when a product reaches its end of life, its materials can re-enter the cycle by the means of reuse, recycling and recovery, as long as they continue to provide a value. The first step in the waste hierarchy is reduce. The goal in this step is to reduce the overall footprint by using fewer materials and, and energy to minimize the amount of waste generated. The next step is reuse. Reuse is all about creating products that are intended to have a longer lifespan and to be used or reused several times by the same end user. After reuse comes recycle. Recycling is the act of giving a material a second life, to be used again and again. And this process doesn't only happen once. By adding additives, for example, you can continue to recycle your materials over and over. There are two primary methods of recycling, mechanical recycling and chemical recycling. Keep reading to learn more about each of these two methods. Next up is recover. Energy recovery steps in when a material cannot be sustainably recycled. Often referred to as energy recovery recycling, this process allows the material to be disintegrated in a way that creates usable energy. Lastly is landfill. At IMCD, our goal in implementing the waste hierarchy is to avoid landfilling entirely. We see this as the last resort. Read on to learn more about each of these steps and what you need to keep in mind when you rethink and redesign your products.